Okay, we are live. I'm just gonna give everyone a moment to hop on. And while I'm doing that, I'm just gonna introduce the topic to you all, which is the three things stopping you from signing high ticket clients easily. Because I'm seeing in the space, more and more coaches are coming in the space, more and more people are going into this service-based industry, but then starting off not signing high ticket because there's some misconceptions there's some um, false beliefs there's a whole paradigm around it has to be difficult it has to be hard to sign high ticket or you have to be in business for a few months a few years for it to be possible for you so i'm going to completely break that whole paradigm apart today in today's live if you're watching this as a replay on youtube please subscribe below hit like because it really really it really boosts the algorithm so other people can see it and I really, really appreciate it. As I'm saying these things, I want you to be interactive. I want you to really comment, really engage with this. Ask me questions. I love responding to your questions um, because it helps me go even deeper into the topic in a way that will really be beneficial for you. And that's the best way that I teach as well by responding to your questions. Okay, so the first thing that's really stopping you from signing high ticket clients is your ability to tap into the frequency of what high ticket looks like, what it feels like, and tapping into that energy in your body first. And that does not mean when I sign a high ticket client, what would my life look like? What would I do? What would I be? What would I have? It does not mean like that. It, it doesn't mean things like that. It really means tapping into the frequency of high, signing high ticket clients in your reality, inside your body first, energetically. And that means you have got to be able to tap into the frequency of money, the frequency of wealth, the frequency of abundance, tapping in that, into that frequency in your body first. Because if you cannot tap into the frequency of signing high ticket clients, and that is a normal, consistent reality in your life and in your business, you won't be able to attract that into your field. You won't be able to see that in your 3D reality because it happens inside you first. So you've got to be feeling that in, inside of you first. And that means the amount, the price amount as well. So the frequency of that price amount inside of you. It means the space, the energetic space and the energetic container of you being able to hold that many clients. How expansive is your container to be able to hold that, that many clients or the type of client that you wanna attract or the, the rate that you wanna charge? Have you expanded your container, your nervous system to be able to hold that? And you know, because if I gave you a client right now, how would you feel? Would you freak out? Would you be wondering, oh my God, I need to make so many worksheets. Oh my God, I need to move my calendar around. Oh my God, I don't know what I'll do with them. Oh my God, I'll freak out. Or is that something that's just an of course to you? Like, of course, that's, that's my reality. Of course, I get to have that because I've already tapped into the frequency of having that. Okay, let me know if this is making sense. Um, drop questions below as I'm going through this because I'd love to answer your questions. And... And this is the thing that I think trips up a lot of coaches who are really trying to raise their prices or go premium, whether that's got, you know, saying high four figure clients or even going into five figures or multiple five figure clients is their ability to really tap into the frequency and hold it, the frequency of that client and hold it. Because there's this, the way that your brain works is that it tries to keep you limited and hold you down at a certain level. So it kind of plays this trick on you in making you feel like that's such a over there kind of thing. Like it's such a thing that's so beyond you that you feel like you need to inch your way there. You feel like it can't happen fast for you. You feel like it has to be a specific amount of months for you to reach that number. Or you have to first hit, you have to first have a 1k client before you get a 2k client, before you get a 3k client, before you get a 4k client or 5 or a 10 or whatever it is. But that's not, that's not how energy works. And that's not how I work when I work with my clients. Like we don't work in this whole paradigm of you being able to inch your way there. Quantum leaps are so possible for you if you're really be able to do the deeper energetics, the deeper frequency work, the deeper alignment work, the deeper belief work, and hold your energy at that place. And as soon as you waver, as soon as you fall, as soon as the doubt starts creeping in, or as soon as the thoughts start coming in of, oh, I don't know if I can have this. I don't know if I'm worthy of this or 
wasn't it just last month where I made this much money and, and now I want to make double, triple, four times that? As soon as those thoughts come in, how quickly are you able to shift yourself back into believing, into picking yourself up, into strengthening your belief over and over and over again? Okay? It's like when you when you lift weights, like, you know, I, I'm starting some weight training and right now, um, oh, it's on the other side. I don't know what, exactly what it is. But let's say, let's say for argument's sake, it's uh, 2.5 and 2.5 kg on both hands that I'm lifting. And, you know, I can do it. It's easy. It's not that difficult. It's not so hard for me either. Now, if I try to do five on both, it will be a bit of a struggle. Like I'd only be able to do a few before I can really feel it. And then I'll, I'll feel like I've reached my, my max, my, my, my maximum rep of like how much I can do. Now, if I try to do 10, that's virtually impossible on both hands. Now, what, 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 how, would you, how do I get to that 10? The way that I do that is I keep doing the fives until they feel like a 2.5 for me, until they feel so comfortable for me, so easy for me, so normal for me, my body can handle them. And then I move to the tens until they feel like the five, until they feel like so comfortable, so normal, I can do this. That is the same way that you do frequency work. That's the same way you do energy work, where you keep holding that belief, you keep practicing that belief, you keep practicing um, your decision and where you want, what you want and how the frequency of what you want. And then every time you drop it, you pick it up again. Every time you drop the weight, you pick it up again. Every time you drop the weight, you pick it up again. And what a lot of people do is they drop it and they let it stay there. They keep it there for days, hours, months, weeks, whatever it is. And they have to build the momentum up again from zero to be able to come back to where they were again. And that takes so much time. That takes so much time and that takes effort. And that is why they see very inconsistent results. Or that's why they see their journey of growth, because we're always growing, we're always expanding, look like it's slower than they feel. Because they're not really able to shift themselves back into that place, that frequency of what they want, what they decide and what they choose to have again and again and again, especially when circumstances look like they can't have it, especially when it looks like it's not working out, especially when it looks like no one's signing up or no one's booking a call or no one's sending a DM or no one's watching the live or no one's commenting or no one's watching the story or your videos, especially when it looks like that, you still tap into that faith, that trust that it is happening. Okay. So that was the first thing, the frequency of holding a high ticket client. Okay. And that includes the money, the space, the energetic container to hold them, your the space within you as a coach to be able to hold your client in, in their transformation that they're seeking also. Okay. Hey everyone. Asalaamu Alaikum. Thank you so much for joining. Um, I'm going to move on to the second one and then the third one. Okay. So the second thing that's really stopping you from signing high ticket clients easily is your own wounding around money, your own wounding around the heaviness that you hold around that price point or around receiving money or around keeping money or attracting money. And this ties into like generational wounds that you might have around money. And the way that you know this is like you look at what is your relationship with money right now? It, what is your relationship with abundance around you? What is your relationship to where you are in your business and your ability to attract clients? If the story that you're playing in your head, majority of the time is I don't have clients. There's not enough people there that will buy from me. I'm not at the 10K months I want to be at. When am I going to get the 10K months? They're not, it's not here. It's not happening for me. It's not the way that I want to do it. Or uh, people can't afford me. People keep ghosting on me. Whatever, whatever, what's the story that your majority playing in your mind m most of the time is really a big mirror to the wounding that you have around money and your relationship with money also. So if you look at the person who attracts high ticket clients easily, their relationship with money is very different to a person who is not attracting the high ticket clients easily right now. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to riff and go through some things that you can tangibly see how their relationship with money will be really different and then see how, you know, what is, where do you play in this scenario? Where's your place in this? So the first thing is person who attracts those clients easily, they know, they believe, they trust 
that clients come to them easily. So they're not holding on to any person. They're not holding on to thinking that this person will sign up with me because they know that there's so many other people, like there's so many other people that are, would want to work with them, especially now as the coaching industry is like booming and growing and it's going to be become a, a multi-billion pound industry. They know and they trust there's so many people for them. And because they believe that, they trust themselves to release money also. They're not holding on to money from out of fear and scarcity and doubt. <coughs> they're not holding on to that. They're able to release it. They're able to invest in themselves over and over and over again. Like they're not thinking that, um, oh, I, I can't make that investment because I don't know if I'm going to make my money back. They trust themselves to know that, of course, I'm going to make that money back. They fully believe and trust themselves that, of course, I'm going to make that money back. Of course, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have way more clients coming to me. They don't have this holding on to money, scarcity kind of sort of relationship with money. They're able to let it flow in and out, in and out, in and out so easily. And because of that, they, their money has a space, place to go. So when you have an intention of like, I want to sign high ticket clients, why? What are you going to do with that money? Do you have an intention for that? Because if you don't have an intention for it, how can it really come to you? Like if you don't have an intention for having 10K months and it's not clear for you, it cannot come to you because you have no purpose for the money. You have no intention for the money to travel to. So is it like you want to give a certain portion of it to charity? Is there something that you want to do with your family? Is it something that you want to pay off your debts or your mortgage? Is it something that you, there's part of it that you want to put into investments? There's a part of it that you want to put into savings towards something. Do you have a specific direct plan for that money to go to? So it has a purpose, okay? The people that are at that level, they have a purpose. They're not just wanting it for the sake of wanting it. So this is like a, a, sig a, a kind of identifier of like, where are you in your relationship to money? If you know you've got generational wounding around money, you, one of the things that you'll be thinking around is, would you actually pay someone the amount that you want to charge? If their answer is no, that's already something coming up for you. Like there's some scarcity or restriction around releasing that amount of money so how can you actually receive that amount of money? You have to be so comfortable and willing to be able to let go of that amount to be also be able to receive that amount. Okay, I hope this is making sense. I hope this is really landing for some of you. Um, and is there a part of you that's feeling like you're not worthy of receiving high ticket clients? Is there a part of you that's feeling like I don't deserve to have that somebody pay me that much? Is there some shame? Is there some guilt? Is there some... Um, fear around having that much money that you're going to lose it or somebody's going to take it or um, you won't be able to have it consistently these are all things that you can really start working through and especially if you if there's patterns of poverty or if there's patterns of scarcity from your childhood um, this is all been programmed within you out of no fault of your own but it's things that you've seen things that you've witnessed things that you've experienced and this is like in your DNA sitting in your DNA even from generations back so even if your grandparents or great grandparents, they were living in poverty or scarcity or lack, you're probably carrying some of that within you right now, unless you do the reprogramming work to really release it and to instill new abundant beliefs in. Okay, how do you get clients to buy stuff? So this the same way you get people to do anything. You've got to firstly be integrity with yourself in like, would you buy your thing? Do you love the thing that you're selling? Do you Are you completely... Um, showing your passion for it are you showing your excitement for it are you do you would you buy the thing that you're buying and that itself would naturally come out as you're doing the sales activities to buy your things are you being completely unapologetic when it comes to sales are you putting it out there or are you just like um hinting at it here and there or are you being are you making it so clear for them in what they're getting the transformation that they're going to have at the end of it um and why it will why they need to buy it and the key thing is the transformation because you're never selling them your process. You're never selling them the pr how you do stuff. Nobody cares about how you do it. They want the end destination, okay? People want the end product. People don't care about, um, uh, let's say, yeah, people don't care about how they get to the, you know, this amazing secret island spot and, you know, where there's, you know, baby sharks all around you and you get to feed them and all this. They don't care about how you get there, that first you're going to get on a ferry and then you have to go on another little boat and then you have to do this. 
they just want the end thing they want to get to that last place where they get to feed these amazing baby sharks and enjoy themselves and like have the whole private beach to themselves they want the end thing so what is that transformation what's that end thing that you get give them okay and that's leading me on to the third thing which is believe this is the third thing is almost like a, a trio of three different things and if at any point in your business something is not selling always go back to these three things like which of these three things is not working for you so the first one is believing in yourself like how deep is your belief in yourself and your ability to create the result that you want do you believe that you get to have those high ticket clients do you believe that you're worthy of them do you believe that you're the most amazing coach for this for for the people that want to buy this that can benefit from it that can transform from it do you believe that you are that person do you believe like you are the best thing out there for them and if your belief is a bit wavering there that's what you get to work on that's what you need to work on okay the second thing is believing in your client do they believe do you believe that they exist do you believe that they are they are empowered enough to buy from you without you needing to push them coerce them you sleazy sales tactics on them that they can afford it do you have that full empowered trusting belief in them that was the second thing okay and the third thing is your offer do you believe in your offer are you excited by it do you wake up every morning thinking oh my god i don't know what, i don't i can't wait to tell people about this do you do you have like ideas and things pouring out of you of this is how i'm going to talk about it this is how i'm going to sell it this is why people need to buy it do you have are you like over over filled with excitement about it that you just can't help but talk about it you just can't help but do posts on it lives on it stories on it emails on it because you just love this offer so much does it excite you every day and if it doesn't that's okay like sometimes you might have some offers that don't excite you and that's where you get to look at okay is this something that i'm just going to remove from my business because it doesn't excite me as and i can't get myself to uh to really feel excited about it or is this something that you feel like okay what why am i not feeling excitement about this why am i not feeling really turned on empowered to really talk about this is it because there's a part of me that doesn't believe in the client is it a part of me that doesn't believe in myself is it a part of me that doesn't believe in the pricing of it is it a part of me that doesn't believe in how i'm selling it or is it something else so you get to really work on these parts of yourself to be able to sell high ticket okay i'm so so excited that so many of you joined that yeah, believe in yourself believe in your clients believe in your offer yes thanks so much for posting that below um yeah those were my three things stopping you from selling high tickets so i'm just going to recap three of them frequency of receiving high ticket clients like are you tapping into that frequency is it such a are you in that frequency so much that it's just fully deeply 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 embodied within you and you you know when something is deeply embodied within you because it will show it will show in your reality like it won't take some time it won't take that much of a long time for it to show in your reality and if you think about things that you do have in your reality it's because you've been in the frequency of them so if you look at anything that you have right now or an experience that you've experienced is because you were in that frequency of having that thing being that thing doing that thing that it then came into fruition okay so the second thing is your on wounding generational patterns around money and scarcity and lack and really working in taking that out of your paradigm taking it out from of your consciousness and re rewiring new patterns of money wealth and abundance and with that i was saying about what is your relationship with holding on to money releasing money what is your relationship with receiving money and keeping money okay uh cheeky herbs you can catch the replay afterwards so you can see about how you can really tap into the frequency of the client that you want to attract okay um and the third thing was believing in yourself believing in the client and believing in your offer so these are the three things that you can pinpoint you can look into which of these things are not solid not strong in me and you get to like basically rework them and i'd, I'd love to do another live on this because it's like so it's so detailed like each of these things are so detailed like i'll give you one example there could be such tiny little difference in your pricing that could actually just be throwing you off your offer. So you might have thought that oh I need to price myself really high now and I'm going to I don't know I'm going to charge 10k for my offer now. And that pricing is actually not aligned with you and your nervous system and your frequency right now. Like you're not on that frequency of that price. 
you're, you're not aligned to that price as well. And so you're not going to attract the clients at that price. And so if you tuned into yourself and you looked, okay, what was the price? What is the price I'm really attuned to and that I really can hold energetically? And you go back to that, even if it means lowering your prices a little bit, you will be, feel safety within your nervous system around money, around receiving money, around receiving clients. And you're energetically creating space for those clients to come to you. You're not doing the heavy lifting to force yourself at a frequency of a price that doesn't feel good to you, that doesn't feel aligned to you. Let me know if that makes sense, because there's a lot of coaches that are like forcing, pushing people, uh, high, really, really high prices on people, but they're not doing the inner work for them to hold that price. So you really need to be, hold, be able to hold it. Okay, so those were the three things stopping you from signing high ticket clients easily. I'm so, so, so glad, um, so honored that so many of you joined live with me. Um, if you are interested in working with me at a deeper level in these things, like if you're thinking that Jamila's the one, she's the one that I, that I can need her help in really tapping into the frequency of high ticket clients and making your business easy, really allowing things to flow for you, like making clients be magnetically drawn to you because the thing that you're working on is your energy, which is like the main thing. I talked about this in Hyperspeed Masterclass. If you haven't got the link to that, if you haven't watched that yet, send me a DM, I'll send it to you. If you really want that in your business, where you're signing high ticket clients easily, things are happening easily for you, you're not forcing yourself towards them, you're doing the deeper energy work to release the generational wounds around money, my one-on-one -on -one has two stop spots open for enrollment where you're going to work intimately with, with me to work on these things so we can get your business to a place where you're attracting clients super easily, things feel like they're flowing for you, and you've done the deeper deconditioning work around your generational wounds around money. So of course, money gets to come to you easily and effortlessly. So if you're excited about that, send me a DM for my one-on-one -on or send me an email or just ask me any questions below um, and I'll do my best to answer them. See you in the next one. Assalamu alaikum.